Hi, welcome back to my channel. Thank you for watching and for subscribing. And if you're just visiting, please consider subscribing. So today I'm going to do a really fun tag, which is called Sexy Fragrances for Every Occasion. This tag was created by the beautiful and funny Lulu. I'm sure that most of you are familiar with her channel, but if for some reason you're not, it is going to be linked in the description. Definitely make sure to check it out. So she was kind enough to tag me, and so I've answered all of her questions. Let's see what fragrances I have chosen for these different occasions. So first we have Day Date or Day Party. And the fragrance that I have chosen for that is Rouge Serre from Atelier des Ors, one of my all-time favorite fragrances. This one has dates, plums, uh, cinnamon, vanilla, some woody notes, and it kind of, it's a beautifully balanced fragrance, I think. It has some sweetness, it has some woodiness, it has some spiciness and everything put together so beautifully. So it, it definitely has kind of a seductive, sexy edge to it, but at the same time, it is not too strong and it is not too overpowering. And that's why I think this is a great choice for a day date. Next one is the first date. Um, and for this, I wanted to choose something feminine, something understated, something elegant, um, and I went with Meliora from Parfums de Marly. Um, to me, this fragrance is mostly about very sweet black currant. There are some other uh, fruits or other berries in here, but I'm definitely getting black currant more than anything else, and I just think it's a very feminine, understated, elegant, um, but at the same time with an edge type of fragrance that would be perfect for a first date. Next occasion is a club or a party. Uh, I don't know much about <laughs> going to a club and party. Well, we haven't had uh, one of those in a long time, but let's uh, imagine. And so the fragrance that I have chosen is a more oud uh, silk root. This fragrance, I'm not even going to read the notes because I think in this case, the notes have nothing to do with what the fragrance smells like. And to me, this really smells like a table full of different Middle Eastern desserts. It is delicious. It is scrumptious, but it has um, a touch of a smoky element to it, which makes it quite seductive. And I think uh, especially for a party where there are other people are there, you don't want to sort of overwhelm them, but at the same time, you want to be able to stand out. And I think uh, this fragrance has a perfect balance to uh, accommodate both of those things. So again, my choice for a club or party is Silk Root from Amor Oud. Next occasion is a romantic encounter. And here I've chosen a fragrance that I really don't talk about enough because it's a stunning fragrance. And to be honest, I don't wear it enough. So I thought this would be a great reminder for myself as well. And this one is from Mikalev, and this is Mon Parfum Crystal. Uh, this fragrance is about rose, vanilla, toffee, pink pepper, and cinnamon. And I think it is a very romantic fragrance because in general, to me, rose is romantic. And this one has a, such a nice touch of toffee. I'm getting really toffee more than vanilla, although it is very sweet. 
and there is a touch of spiciness for from pink pepper but overall it's really about this gorgeous kind of dark red or even burgundy rose uh kind of drizzled with some toffee on top that's sort of what it makes me think of and i think that's in my mind that creates a very romantic picture and so that's why i've chosen it for this occasion dinner date and here I went with a fragrance that, again, hasn't been getting a lot of love from me, but that is because, to me, for some reason, this fragrance is completely associated with uh, an evening scent and especially going out somewhere scent. And that's why I chose it for dinner date, because I'm thinking it's a dinner date somewhere out in a restaurant. And the fragrance I'm talking about is Good Girl from Carolina Herrera. I think it's a beautiful, beautiful scent. Um, the notes in here are some florals, coffee, almond, tonka, vanilla, cacao, woody notes, cinnamon. And it's just a beautiful combination of all of these notes. Uh, the florals are not overpowering here. In fact, to me, they're barely noticeable. I'm getting more of... Uh, almond and tonka and vanilla and a touch of coffee and it almost creates this um, effect of a really sweet plum that's kind of what I'm getting out of it um, but like I said to me for some reason I don't know if you know the the way the bottle looks has something to do with it I'm not sure but to me this is a strictly going out type of scent I just can't wear it at home or going to a grocery store or going for a walk. I don't know why, but it's a rare fragrance that I can only wear for a specific occasion. So again, that's why I've chosen it for a dinner date. Next one is dinner and a wink. And I love the way Lulu um, named this category. Um, and here I went with a Black Phantom by Killian. I think there's something very, very special about this fragrance. Very seductive, very sex sexy, very sensual, just an amazing scent. Um, it is rich, it is opulent, it is thick, it is sweet, it is nutty. It just has everything and just creates a very, very seductive atmosphere i think um so some notes in here are chocolate rum coffee caramel sandalwood and almond and like i said very sexy and seductive scent very rich very opulent and uh, i think that definitely would be my choice for dinner and a wink Next, we have fragrance for winter, and I think my choice here will not be a surprise if you watched any of my videos because I absolutely love this fragrance in the cold weather. This is, of course, Grand Soir from MFK. Um, this is amber, vanilla, benzoin, tonka, and when the weather is cold, this scent just blooms on my skin. It becomes so beautiful, such deep rich, sweet type of amber, uh, again, very sensual type of scent. And so for a date or any type of encounter in the winter, um, I think I would definitely choose Grand Soir. And now the opposite of that, summer beach party or any kind of day party. Well, I went with a very summery, uh, happy type of scent. And this is Holidays from Mansara. Uh, this scent has coconut, ylang ylang, bergamot, vanilla. And it's definitely a very beachy, kind of um, coconutty, suntan lotion kind of fragrance relatively light um i think um coconut and ylang ylang are very prominent here and for a beach party well this definitely smells like a beach so i would definitely choose this one now the next one is summer date night so in the evening so i went with 
a uh, fragrance that sort of has a somewhat similar vibe to the last one, but it is definitely deeper and richer and stronger. And this is one of the newer additions to my collection. This is Soleil or Zenith from Prada. This is such a beautiful scent, a kind of a hidden gem, because like I said, in my haul where I shared this one, nobody really talks about this one. Uh, but the main notes in here are peach, ylang ylang, sandalwood, spices, and vanilla. So you see there is um, ylang ylang in this one and in holidays. I think that's kind of the common denominator between the two. But this one definitely is stronger. There is uh, more fruitiness in this one. There is more creaminess. There is more sweetness and there's definitely more spiciness in this one. So uh, it is, I think, perfect for warmer weather, perfect for summer. Again, very sensual and seductive type of scent, um, but it is spicier, sweeter, and more fruitier than holidays. This is definitely a hidden gem. Uh, I would recommend looking into this one. Next occasion is bedtime, and here I wanted to go with something relatively simple, definitely sweet, definitely comforting, but maybe with a slight sexy edge, and I went with Scandal à Paris from Jean-Paul Gaultier. Absolutely love, love, love this scent. This is, of course, pear, honey, and jasmine, and this is really that's what it smells like. It's honeyed pear with the addition of jasmine. It is so, so beautiful, uh, comforting, happy, slightly edgy type of scent. So again, really love this one. Scandal à Paris from Jean-Paul Gaultier. Next occasion is staycation. And if it's a staycation, I still want to feel like, pretend like I am <laughs> actually on a vacation somewhere. So I want something happy, something slightly exotic, something sweet. And I couldn't choose anything else but Mango Skin from Wilhelm Perfumery. This is such a gorgeous, beautiful, happy type of scent. Definitely makes me think about vacation. This is another one where there are a lot of notes in here. There's mango, blackcurrant, orange, there's red wine, musk, frangipani, ylang ylang. I think, I think there are a ton of other notes. But when I smell this, it just smells like an incredibly realistic, juicy, freshly peeled mango. That's all I can think of. And of course, that makes me think of uh, an exotic vacation somewhere, which is, you know, I think perfect if you are home and pretending like you're on vacation. So that's why I've chosen Mango Skin. Next one is all-time favorite, and there will be no surprises here. I think many of you would guess what fragrance I would choose here. Of course, it is going to be Unknown Pleasures from Kerosene. Uh, I know I've talked about this fragrance many times on my channel, but I have to be honest with you, this is probably my all-time favorite. At least that's how I feel at the moment of filming this video. I can easily, honestly wear the scent every single day. I could, and I don't think I would get tired of it. Uh, this is, of course, vanilla, tea, lemon, caramel, honey. And it is just stunning. It has everything in it that I love, everything that I'm looking for. It is like, I mentioned it many times, but that's what I think of when I smell this, like drinking a cup of tea with condensed milk. That's what I think of. Um, just so, so beautiful. It is sweet. It is quite sweet, but I never find this scent to be overpowering or too much. Maybe it's lemon and tea that kind of balance out all the sweetness. So for me, this is wearable for any occasion, um, any time of the year. So that's why Unknown Pleasures from Kerosene is my all-time favorite. And that brings us to the 
finally, last occasion, which is fragrance in your collection that you would like to smell on your date or on your partner. That's the way I understood the question. And again, there will be no surprises here. I have chosen a fragrance that my husband absolutely loves and I have to admit, I love it as well. And I especially love it on him. This is, of course, Delox from Tiziana Terenzi. This is coffee, rose, vanilla. I think this is very sexy and very seductive scent. Uh, it definitely completely unisex. It works on both men and women. And I think that's why uh, so many love it. So it is sweet. It has some touch of coffee. It has a little bit of rose, but rose, I would say, is not very strong in here. And on my husband, it is less sweet than it is on me. It is just gorgeous, seductive, sexy scent. So I'm always happy when he uses this fragrance. So there you go. That's the end of this tag. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, please remember to give me thumbs up and subscribe. And thank you, Lulu, for creating the tag and for tagging me, of course. And if any of you would love to do this tag, I would absolutely love to see your responses, whether in a video or in the comments below. Thank you for watching. I will see you soon in my next video. Bye.